This is Lucky Star Pie World of Tanks console community contributor. An exciting weekend has unrolled with the True Vision test currently active. The forums and Twitter are abuzz with loads of opinions. A hotfix has already rolled out for a few bugs that had a lot of players in a tizzy. The alleged arty bug has been addressed with Wargaming non-stop working to smooth out all the wrinkles. But aside from unintended side effects, a vast variety of views have shown themselves across the board. One such view is the fear of light tanks becoming obsolete, with spotting becoming irrelevant. Some players even go as far as to say they will stop playing the game unless they get their way and have the mode turned off. As far as light tanks go, the unspotted donuts in the empty fields may have to come to an end, but as many Super Unicum players play lights, undoubtedly they will already be formulating new strategies to compensate. So keep an eye out on the YouTube channels of your favorite contributors for upcoming videos on the new mechanics. Other players worry that the value of certain crew perks such as Sixth Sense have lost their purpose, with many voicing concerns over other perks. Equipment has been under scrutiny as well, with some equipment such as camo nets and binos being rendered useless, leaving players wondering just what is around the corner for World of Tanks console. Perhaps this is leading towards new equipment mechanics or an overhaul. At this time, your guess is as good as mine. Tank destroyers are also left to worry about their exposed positions. Sniping from base on El Haluf might not be as prosperous as it once was. Having to reposition or hide after firing is the key to this event. Tankers tracing back rounds to the unspotted tanks and blind firing at their assumed locations is not new to World of Tanks console, but unless you're behind cover completely, now when the round is traced back, players will be able to see the corner of your tank or exposed gun barrel, forcing tank destroyers to snipe more conservatively and be aware of their cover at all times. Other players note how this allows for counterfire to camping, and even though every tank is rendered, it's still incredibly difficult to pick out tanks without careful examination. One player cautions others when camping in their favorite spots to be aware that it may be the first spot searched and to find new strategies and locations to avoid detection. Some players noted that these changes to the game mechanics were simply to make the game easier. But on closer inspection, the changes require players to be intensely observant of their surroundings, watching the bushes on the horizon almost more than the map, awareness of the geography becoming even more important than it already was. YOLOing is deterred from the get-go, and tankers have to approach each map warily, as the strategies being employed by both teams may be different than they are used to. These changes require much more adaptability from each player and a lot more paying attention to your surroundings. Many players shared opinions about how this could be implemented over time, requiring massive map changes, which may be exactly what we were already getting. Earlier in the year, Wargaming released cliff notes of what they intended for this year, including a map overhaul, where a group of maps at a time will be worked on, then released, before moving on to the next set of maps. The first maps worked on were noted to have more bushes and trees than previous. We can only assume that the next set of maps we receive will also also include more cover in the specific locations as per the suggestions in the forums. The overall stir caused by the event is, if anything, a positive sign of life among the player base showing that the plea for huge in-game changes has been heard and on the horizon for some time. Despite how sudden these events feel when we are made aware, they must require months of planning and Wargaming is definitely keeping its surprises under the hood. Despite the World of Tanks console news release and media platforms sharing the articles, as well as the forum pages for when the True Vision test was released, many players found themselves shocked and confused when they were killed while unspotted, having simply overlooked the news feed when they loaded into the game. For future updates, these alerts and information releases are crucial to players and provide the much-needed awareness of events when they are run. World of Tanks console is a game that frequently has different game modes, such as plus one, minus one weekends with loaded dice where your RNG is different, not to mention seasons such as WWE Summer Slam with the new season pass system and holiday events, such as the upcoming Halloween event that is no doubt around the corner and waiting to be announced. If you find yourself having a difficult time understanding the True Vision event, the article is linked in the description below and explains how the vehicle detection system works and how the True Vision test affects that. 
Discord. The forums are also waiting to hear what each and every one of you have to say. Now, of course, this game mode ends on Tuesday the 22nd, but it may have a return in the future. In the meantime, be aware of how it works and how this affects how you play your tanks. This is Lucky Star Pie, and I'll see you out there, Commander.